Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Network. Hi, I'm Carrie Oliver. We're going to check in in just a couple of moments with Chris Murphy and find out what your sky conditions are through the evening and overnight. You know why? Because Andrew Fazekas is joining us from Montreal. And finally, Andrew, we get to see your lovely face. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Hi, yes, through cyberspace, I'm here. <laughs> well, tell us what's going on because pretty exciting stuff. And of course, we're going to let everyone know about your website and how they can get more information. But uh, there's something that's pretty exciting that's going on that everyone gets their own little show this weekend. That's right. You know, uh, if you've got clear skies tonight or oh, any over the course of the weekend and into, in fact, over the next uh, week as well, uh, if you've got any night, the space station is visible uh, to the naked eye. You don't need binoculars or telescopes to see this event. It looks like a trailing star across the sky. It takes only two to four minutes to cross the sky. Uh, remember, there's six astronauts aboard, and and uh, and and you know it's traveling at 27,000 kilometers per hour. And uh, you see a photo right now on uh, on the screen. That's a picture I took back in November. One of the last great. Uh, visibilities of the space station just in uh, over my s Montreal suburban uh, driveway. So and people can get a chance to see that and they can we'll give them more information on your website in just a couple of moments as far as you know what the best times are. But one more thing before we uh, say wrap this up uh, Andrew is scorpions uh, those who were born under the sign of Scorpio should be pretty excited about Monday morning. Why is that? Yeah, well, that's it. If you're heading on to work uh, or you want to wake up a little early uh, at dawn, about a half hour before sunrise, look towards the eastern sky and you'll see a beautiful razor crescent moon. And right to the lower left of it, almost touching it, will be the star Antares. It's the brightest uh, star in the constellation Scorpius, the scorpion. So if you know anyone with the scorpion sign, this is their sign right there. And it's going to be a beautiful sight with the pairing, the two of them together, so close in the sky. Oh, that's wonderful, Andrew. Listen, we could talk for hours. There's so much interesting stuff. And we thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. Uh, if anyone would like to, of course, follow this up, as I'm sure they will, they can go to thenightskyguide.com. Thanks, Andrew. All righty, we're going to go ahead and